You're watching Blink TV with me, the blacksmith, and today I'm sat here with George Roberts. He was one of the organisers of the Festival of Firsts event, which took place across Hoy Lake in Wirral this last last week it was, That's wasn't right, it? Yeah. How do you think the event went this year? Um, <coughs> my main focus, my involvement was being on the committee of the whole thing. There were different strands. There was art, there was poetry, there was theatre, and there was stuff going on all over the place. But my narrow focus was the being the organiser of the music. Um, it went pretty well. We had two standalone concerts on the Friday and the Sunday at Hoylake Chapel, um, which were paid events to try and raise money to fund everything else we were doing and to try and raise money for Clare House because we support that charity. Um, Saturday we had seven bars taking part. Um, it was a day out for all the family. Um, we had you know, musicians coming from Liverpool, from the Wirral, about 80, 90 bands on in seven, in seven venues, um, all their family, friends, all the locals all chipping in. Uh, so I think everybody really had a great day, it was a real buzz. Yeah, yeah so it was a real collective of people and mm -hmm. the community really got behind you while yeah. you was pushing this on because a mm -hmm. lot of other communities are like, oh, we don't want nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. But you, you, it was a real sense that everyone mm -hmm. was, let's take part, let's do something, this is how we do it and this is how we improve. I think so. Um, and we're quite lucky in a way that Hoylake is used to this kind of event because we also have Oxjam every year, okay. um, which is usually a couple of months earlier. So the bars are quite used to sort of had putting on events which get lots of people in and yeah. raising money for charity. Benefits them at the end of the day though, doesn't yeah, it? Because so a lot of people does, yeah. come from outside the area to, mm -hmm. to view the talent that's within the area. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's interesting because we're not second year and last year the music day was a little bit smaller because it was starting out and it's not surprising. Um, I guess whoever's running the music day, it was, it was Caroline last year who did a fantastic job, um, sort of draws on their pool of knowledge and their contacts and who they know and Last year the sort of pool was very much Wirral based because that's where her head is and she plays on the Wirral and knows more Wirral musicians. Whereas in a sense, over the last year I've done, I don't know how many gigs in Liverpool, just you know, hundreds probably. Um, so I know an awful lot of bands from Liverpool and know of yeah. a lot of bands from Liverpool. So I just started off by writing to all of them and asking them um, and they all came back and said yes before I knew it. <laughs> in February I had about 60, 70 bands. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? Um, so it became, it sort of took on a life of its own and just rolled with it. Yeah, well the music was one of the big features yeah. within the festival this year. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people <clears throat> took the time out to just enjoy yeah. being able to go into these bars and actually have a live set in front of them mm -hmm. and perform and a, a craft, I suppose. Well, what I so. found nice was a number of people have come up to me and said, that's the most original music I've heard in Hoylake on one day ever, wow. which was a really nice thing to hear because I think about, top of my head, probably 80-90% of bands were playing entirely original material, which is very different from yes. the world because you know, the, the general circuit, if you like, tends to be bands getting paid to play covers because that's in inverted commas what people want and it always comes back at you that. But in fact, if you actually give people something different, um, they go, oh, that was quite good actually, we wouldn't mind seeing a bit more of that. So my thinking was to try and get, you know, we have Wirral bands playing as well, I'm not a complete, you know, Liverpool head and the Wirral <laughs> can naff off or anything, but yeah. my head was, well, let's get lots of Liverpool bands over to see the Wirral's a you know, good place, and let's let the Wirral see the Liverpool bands they don't tend to get over to Liverpool to see and try and get some kind of interchange so going on. So it was a good collaboration. I think it, worked, I think it worked well. Yeah, definitely. Mm. We, we felt, I think me and Mel went down in the evening, and we felt like there was a good vibe going on mm. right through, and there was a lot of people that was all dayers, and you could yeah. see it in, in how they was acting. <laughs> they, was, yeah. they had been there all day and really had a good time mm. and really enjoyed what they was yeah. doing. So you he's you, looking to do the same again next year or expand or what? I don't think in terms of the music day we could expand it much further, just sheerly due to the geography of bars, etc. Yeah. And if anything, we might try and cut it back a bit. I think I made some, I oh, the same mistakes. It's the first time I've organised a gig. You know, I mean, I never organised one night in one bar, let alone that scale. So I think I tried to put on maybe two bands too many in each venue, which put a little bit of pressure on time and stuff like that. But on the whole, it went really well. And were, we were behind, but not too behind. And you just yeah. learn from it. You know? Yeah, it's, all, it's so, always a learning experience. Yeah. And sometimes those bands will help you out if a band yeah. drops out. That's one thing I want to say. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing I want to say actually is just generally thank you to all the bands A for coming, you know, for no money in the in the main. Um, B for being so helpful to other bands. You know, there were lots of people who had sort of problems. Oh, I haven't got the right lead with me, or something's gone wrong. And what was really nice to see was musicians all just jumping in and helping each other out. And it's that real feeling of a, a great solidarity between all the musicians there wherever they were from and I really appreciated that. Thank you, thank you for coming in today. No problem, you're welcome. You know what it is, it's Bling TV, you've been here with the blacksmith, George Roberts ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you.